Hey guys, let's learn about locks and helmets. This is Greg with Avis, marketing manager. I love your stuff. I've used it myself. I'm a, I'm a kind of a safety guy and you know, I'm all about electric bikes. It can be pretty expensive, so getting the right lock really makes a difference. Just walk me through what, what you're doing and what's new and stuff, man. Yeah, certainly with our locks, we're a hundred year old company. We've been making locks for a long time now, so I think we've got a good idea of how to make a good solid lock for bikes, and especially e-bikes. Yeah. Um, something that really has been growing here for us in the US is the frame locks or the cafe locks. Yeah. Um, you see these in Europe on pretty much every bike, but they're starting to be more common, especially on e-bikes and cargo bikes. You're seeing them a lot. Um, we have them for different wheel sizes, but the exciting thing that we have and a lot of other brands are doing now is the plug-in chain. Oh, I love that. So it's a great way to take the frame lock that locks the wheel and then add additional security onto it with the plug-in chain. So for um, people who might not be familiar, imagine that the wheel is like right here and it goes through this and then that little rod disables, the, the wheel can't move because it hits the spokes hit on that. Correct. Okay, so that disables the bike and you might be like, well, it's heavy to carry an electric bike away, but when you want that extra level of security, you got this chain that can wrap around a pole. Mm -hmm. right? that's, Correct, yeah, that's it's a very loop cool. chain. So it, pops out there so you got that loop so you've a lot of flexibility about what you can lock it to um, comes in a couple different terms of size and security a six mil chain which is this oh yeah and then this is up to an eight mil chain this is like big it's like actual chain, chain yeah. linkages in here man correct yeah Question. also the cable version as well so a lot of bikes i should say some bikes actually have the mounting point for mm -hmm. for this but not all bikes do is there a way to like upgrade your bike to use this or you have there to have is. a bike? We that's... have something called the Spawn Bond. Huh. Um, so it's a uh, essentially a fancy zip tie, metal zip tie that has oh. uh, two um, threaded pieces that come out. Yeah. So then you can use that to mount it to pretty much any bike that has mounted to the seat stays of the bike on the back side and you can have it on pretty much any bike um, that has the right size. That's wheels. good to know. Well, let's hit some of the other stuff. I, I, I'd yeah. love to see, I mean, we got U-locks over here. Certainly, yeah, U-locks are what we're, I think when people think of a bike lock, that's the first thing that comes to their mind is a U-lock. Yeah. Um, all of our locks with our U-locks are gonna be double locking, so it means you're gonna have to cut them twice to ah, get through them. So both rods both lock. Both rods lock. And this is our cool new uh, bracket we have, the SHB bracket. Oh. So what's really neat about it is this can be mounted with the zip ties pretty much on really small um, parts. You can put it on a seat stay of a bike. What's really cool about it is it's just a one-handed uh, mounting. So that's all you have to do to lock the, the lock onto the bracket. So it's a really neat um, bracket that we came out with this past year. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And then we've got different levels of like toughness. Correct. Yeah. On our scale of one to 15, um, this is our level 15 lock. And with our scale, we have a folding lock that's a level 15, a U lock that's a level 15, a chain that's a level 15. Yeah. We even have this guy, which is more from our motorcycle side of our business. Yeah. But wow. it's a level 20. <laughs> we do have shops in uh, San Francisco and New York that do sell these for e-bikes. For sure. Especially when you're talking about a cargo bike or an e-bike where you, you know, having a little bit more weight is not going to be the end of the world. For sure. Having this with you is a nice option for... You got like a $10,000 e-bike yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. You want to go with something as high as that. Lock. Why are these ones orange? Is this a special one or something? Uh, we just do some different colors. Some, some people like to have a little bit of flash with their bikes. I've also noticed that some of your keys, they've got this code so you could get matching keys that, that go for like the bike, sometimes Correct. a lock. Yeah, so we have, it's our one key system. Cool. So a lot of uh, brands are using our lock cylinders to lock the battery onto the bike. Yeah. And they'll come with this code card. And what you do is with this code card and this code that comes with your bike, you can get an infinite number of our locks key to like to it. That's awesome. So it's a quick, really quick turnaround, two to three weeks to have them constructed or manufactured in Germany and then shipped back to the shop. Um, so it's a great way to kind of simplify the rider riding experience by just having one key that works your battery, that works sure. your works your u-lock for when you're out riding works locks your works your chain for when you're at home and you want to lock your bike that's great man. For families that kind of thing well you mentioned the folding locks and it looks like that's what we've got back here mm -hmm. i think i had one like this it was a little sleek and lightweight but you have a new one that has like an alarm so if someone's tampering with it it Correct. goes yeah, off yeah we have uh 
couple different versions that have our alarm in it. So it's uh, once it's armed, it will um, arm the alarm, and then you'll have a 100 decibel alarm that would go off if it was wow. fully activated. Don't steal the bike. Yeah, so it's more about making the thief nervous about what they're going, trying to do, yeah. versus alerting you to an attack. Huh, how do you change the battery on these? This one pulls out right there. So oh, it came right out the side? Yeah, so when, when it's not locked, you can pull that whole piece out and there's a small battery in there for this one. Wow, okay, thank yeah. you, appreciate it. So it looks like this has that same kind of metal zip tie kind of mounting. So you could put it anywhere on your bike and I'm seeing some really creative solutions here, like a saddle mount and seat post mount, all kinds of different options. Um, it can also be mounted where a water bottle cage would go. Ah, the bosses. Um, yeah, so you can use that, but you no, know, not every e-bike will have the ability to mount it. I personally like to have a chain for locking a bike up at home mm -hmm. or on a hitch rack. Yeah, um, oh, that's a great point. Yeah. Like on your car. Exactly, yeah, if you're riding around you want to have stop for lunch and you want to make sure your bikes are secure just pull out a chain and lock them up some of them are pretty burly still are, these are yeah. real links in here so this, this is, is heavy our, duty on our 1 to 15 scale this is our level 15 chain ah. 1060 chain so this is as high as security as our level 15 u lock or a level 15 folding lock okay and this one's reflective that's kind of nice yeah yeah it's nice uh wrap that around the seat post or, you know more visibility the better these days i'm so. with you on that yeah. man and then helmets you, you yeah. want to go through some of these real quick so we have a full line of helmets mountain bike helmets road helmets and urban helmets uh we've been making helmets for 30 years now so we're not new to it but we're newer in the u.s with our helmets yeah um we have everything from our pedelec 2.0 which is designed to the dutch standard the NTA 8776 standard that they have there. So it's designed for high speed e-bikes yeah. up to the 28 mile per hour. Like class three, Correct. I think. And the charge is there, USB, has the rain cover that stores back here in this little pocket here. Yeah. So it's nice to have that when you need it. And the colors, like again, it's, it's pretty bright and it's got some reflectivity. You got the visor, mm -hmm. this has MIPS? This does, yes. Yeah, so the yellow, like is that the crown inside or what do they call that? That is the MIPS liner that they, with the elastomers that allows that for that little bit of rotation that helps to prevent concussions and that type of injury that you might have if you hit your head. Um, That's very while nice. Riding. That's very nice. And then some more bright colors. I, I appreciate the bug screen a couple of times. I've had like a bee like get exactly, stuck. I'm like, yeah. thank goodness it didn't Nothing make it fun. through. Yeah, this is another one we came out with this past year, the, the Hyben LED. Oh. So what's cool about it, it has a bunch of lights built into the shell on both the front and the rear. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So anything that can make you more visible from the front and the rear is important. And you got different, like, does it just, oh, yep. solid, okay, there solid, we go. Solid, and then there's, I think, two different other settings on it. Different flash modes. Yep. And it's but, rechargeable too, I guess? Correct, yep. USB charge under there. Huh, okay. Wow, and then, I don't know, this is a little more basic down here? So this is the hoodie, it's a little bit more of a modern silhouette to it. Oh, okay. Um, comes in a really bunch of cool colors. Still has a killer light in the back. Yeah, this light is really amazing. It's super bright. Oh my gosh. And the other thing that's really cool with this one is it's magnetically attached. Whoa! So you can pop it off. Great idea. Recharge it and just pop it on there. Oh my gosh. It's even nice when you're riding, sometimes I forget if I'm like, is my light on or not? I can just pull this off from yeah. my helmet, look Same at it, way. and then just pop it back in there really easily while I'm even riding. And Fantastic. So. Are these also hoodies down here? Yeah, these are hoodies. This is another really popular color, the champagne gold that we have. Oh, hoodie. Oh, yeah. oh that's, yeah, I could totally see that being popular. Yeah. Match your phone or something. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, and, uh, Maybe just quickly, it's like we got a bunch of different, this almost looks like more aerodynamic, kind of regular bike kind of thing. Yeah, well, the Game Changer is one we came out with uh, five years ago now. That's been a really popular road helmet for us. Road bikes, that's the word I was looking yeah, exactly. for. exactly. It's like aerodynamic. But then, but then we have other, this this one will be launched in the US here in the next week or two, Whoa. the Power Dome. Look at the color, dude. Did yeah. you pick these colors? This, this is, is crazy. This is a flip-flop purple. Some, yeah. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green. Is it black or is it blue? That's the yeah, question. <laughs> But this is a great all-around helmet. This is kind of like the person that wants to have one helmet to commute, to yeah. do a road ride on the weekend, 
really yeah, light. Really light. Really yeah. light. I'm a fan of that. And then over here, there's a line of it looks like mountain bike stuff. You do you make goggles now too, huh? Yeah, we'll be bringing those to the market here in the next uh, month or so. Whoa! Even I'm always, I'm like a big fan of sunscreen and stuff. Yeah, it almost like protects your sun. Exactly. Yeah, it protects your nose. Yeah. And then full face. Did you see that there was this a couple helmets I've seen where you can remove the whole jaw piece to make it more like? We do have that on the the U drop, which is a kid's helmet. Oh. So it's really great that you can pop off that piece there. Nice. So this is, you know, kid riding to school during the day or during the week. Yep. Can also have the half shell, but if they're gonna go to the, the park, the bike park on the weekends, they totally. just pop on the, the chin guard and you're good to go. I love that. I hope we see that someday for like the adult helmets too, because it's, yep. I, I used it personally because I would travel mm -hmm. and I couldn't fit this in my luggage without taking the jaw off. piece yeah, off. Exactly. Yeah, yep. And my head's so big, I guess. <laughs> this kid's one. Well, this has just been wonderful. Yep. Um, you know, I don't get paid for this. It's just a fun thing for Abus, but they have sent me free helmets and like a free lock in the past. So, you know, for what it's worth, my goal is just to cover electric bikes and help people stay safe and have fun. And I feel like you guys do a wonderful job. So Greg, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by.